In our previous slides, we talked about the logical representations. We said that there are three logical representations as sequence, selection, and repetition. And in this slide, we will first talk about the sequence. And uh, these all three are actually a way of showing the algorithms or the procedure that exists in the algorithms, three different procedures or ways. Sequence shows that the computer code is to be implemented one instruction at a time. It, it, that means that's a step-by-step -step procedure and the structure can be expressed generically as a flowchart or as a pseudocode and you can see an example over here so basically it starts with instru instruction one then goes to the instruction two then goes to instruction three and instruction four so it's a step-by-step -step procedure in a sequence as you can see and as a pseudocode you can see all those instructions are written in a sec sequential way so this kind of sequence is easy to follow and these are usually used for example to define the variables parameters etc or the operations mathematical operations step by step and this is one of the logical representations the second logical representation way is the selection and the selection splits the program's flow into branches based on the outcome of a logical condition so this is basically for if statements actually and there are two ways two general ways for selection in you initially uh, first the single alternative decision that means if and then so if you look at this flowchart we have an if condition and if it is true it just goes to true block and if it is false it just goes to the end so there is no false block over here so there is one way that's why it's called single alternative decision um, it allows for a detour in the program flow if a logical condition is true only. If it is false, nothing happens, as I said earlier, it just goes to the end, moves directly to the next statement following the end. And in the pseudocode, you can see if condition, then true block and finishes. There is no false block. Uh, if there is a false block, that means if then else statement, and it is called double alternative decision, and it behaves in the same manner for a true condition. But there is just a false condition as well if the condition is false the program implements the code between the else and and if so you can see here we have true block and also false block for a condition and in the pseudo code you can see if else and and if and in the if we have true block in the else we have false block so this is the second way of logical representation so in this way in the selection we actually have two more alternatives for the demonstration of uh, the logical representation. We can have multiple alternative decision, which is uh, which has more than just an if else and then statements. We also have have else if statement. Else clause of an if then else contains another if then, as you can see here on the right hand side. We have an if else statement. Then also we have another if else statement under it also another one under it and it goes uh, as many as uh, if and else statements we have at the end of the chain of conditions if all the conditions have tested false an optional else block can be included um, and you can see on the right hand side a pseudocode if else if else if else and and if so uh, this is called multiple alternative decision in addition to this as a fourth alternative for the selection we can have a case structure and in this instead of having if statements we can have select or switch um, so rather than testing individual conditions the branching is based on the value of a single test expression depending on its value different blocks of code will be implemented an optional block can be implemented if the expression takes on none of the prescribed values case else we can say and you can see here an example we have a test expression and we have four different values as the blocks until before going to the end so this this has four different cases that means here in the pseudo code you can see one two three four cases and in the end it finishes so these are four different ways of the second logical representation which is called selection the final logical representation way is repetition and repetition is uh, basically instructions which are implemented repeatedly 
So there are two ways of repetition, decision loop and count control loop. Basically, this is for actually loops. So we repeatedly make the same operation, for example, until a certain decision is done. So the decision loop, the exit loop, which is also called a break loop actually, or mid test loop, it repeats until a logical condition is true. For example, here in the flowchart, you can see there's a block, there's a condition. If it is true, it finishes. If it is false, it goes back and calculates again. If the condition is false, it goes back again. And it, this uh, continues until a certain condition is satisfied and it goes to true. And in the pseudocode, we show this as do and undo. Do exit loop, block one, if condition exit, uh, if not, block two. And it continues until uh, the condition is satisfied. So we can uh, have pre-test loop. The first block is not included, this one. Uh, if we don't if we don't have this just condition and block two then it's called pretest loop the logical test is performed before anything occurs also there is post test loop the second block is omitted this time if we remove this we have block one and condition and here it's if it is false it just goes to block one again instead of going to the block two so uh, mid test loop on the other hand has two blocks so two blocks mid test loop Pretest only block two, post test only block one exist. And these do exit loops were in introduced by Fortran 90 and used in Excel as well. Uh, but in MATLAB, uh, do, do exit loop doesn't exist. Instead, we use while structure in it. Uh, but it, it is similar, it, it just uses while structure. And there is a condition in the while until the condition is satisfied. The while makes it uh, co continuously calculation, makes the cal calculations continuously, repeatedly. And the second way is count control loop, it's, which is called also do for loop. And the break loop in the do exit loop is called a logical loop uh, because it terminates on a logical condition. I mean, in here, in the do exit loop, there is a logical condition. And if it is true, then the loop finishes. But in the count control loop, there is not a logical condition, but there is a count controlled condition, let's say. And the do for loop performs a specified number of repetitions or iterations until the specified number is completed, uh, the repetition continues. So you can see the flow chart. We have an i value, which is number actually. We just count it. And if i reaches to the maximized i, uh, in, at each i, we perform a calculation. And, and if this reaches to final or maximum, maximum count number, then it is true and it finishes. And in the do for, we have i equals start. It started and also finish. And between these, there is a step and there is a calculation. And until it reaches finish, it continues or re repetition continues and repeatedly the block is calculated. Then if e reaches, if i reaches to finish, uh, we finish the calculations or the loop. So these two are important if we have a repeatedly calculated uh, problem. For example, in our parachutist problem, we increase this time from 0 to 12 with two time increments. So in each of these, we actually repeated the same calculation. So in that, we need to use this kind of do exit or do for loops. If we know the number of how many time increments we will do, we can use do for. Or if we, we can define a condition until the time is greater than, for example, 12 seconds, we continue to repeat the calculations and it becomes a do exit or while loop in MATLAB.